Following a July 2018 incident involving a blind dog found sealed in a lunch bag and Marion County man in jail, Winston is making now a full recovery. But volunteers want to prevent this from happening again, of course, and Ron L. Hunt is in the newsroom tonight with more. Yes, Don, volunteers within the Humane Society came from Montegalia, Marion, and Harrison counties to meet with the state director to discuss the next step for Winston's Law. Many West Virginians want to make Winston's Law a reality this year by getting legislation passed during the 2019 session, which will start on January 9th. The bill would have two components to it. First, it would look at the language barrier to address hindrances to prosecutors in attaining a felony conviction. Second, the bill would provide an optional increase penalty for repeat offenders. There's a a lot of barriers sometimes with some of these languages and how stuff's written and we're helping to help animal cruelty in that area. Um, trying to do something a little more positive uh, just to help out the other animals out there. We're really, really grateful to our Senate sponsor who's from the area, so Senator Clements. Um, he has been very, very kind uh, to offer to sponsor this bill. We also have some wonderful co-sponsors that have um, come forth asking, to, asking us to help be a part of this bill. It is a bipartisan bill, so we have both Democrat um, and Republican support. Now, as this bill moves forward, we will continue to keep you updated on its status and all throughout the process. Until then, reporting live in the newsroom for 12 News, I am Ron L. Hunt.